Okay, welcome back. Let's open up our gun. And let's select it. Now we're going to add our normals map to it. If you go into your shader, I changed mine from an amber to a fawn E. It just gives it this nice kind of reflections and things. A um, bit more like a sort of gold colour. But if you now come down to the uh, bump mapping, click on that. Now we're going to change this to the normals map. So we're going to click this across. So no longer are we using the bump map, we're going to use a normal map instead of it. So you just learned how to bump map, but we're going to use a normal map now. So go into source images and then choose your normal map TIFF, open that up and then you want to go back to or forward to and where it says use as and it's got bump we're going to go tangent space normals, enter that in there. Now we've replaced it over and now I'm going to do a render of it. And there we go. So it's it's bump mapped it, or it's tangent space normal is it, normal maps it. Gives you the same effect, but obviously more control. So that's basically it. Now that I think is the end of it. There are in the next course, next project that we're gonna do, I'm gonna add specular maps and things like that so it's going to be um, just building on what you already know but for now that's this gun completed in the next lesson I'm just going to do a model cleanup and then a wrap up um, going over all what we've learned through this lesson and in project two where we're doing a more detailed gun I'll be moving at a quicker pace over the things that you already know so that's it for now and we'll get on to the model cleanup, final wrap up and then this project is finished.